What's up Define Strength? It's Thomas. I want to talk a little bit today about depression or just being sad in general. It's a little touchy of a topic and might be sensitive to some people but I wanted to say a few things about it because whether you're depressed now or you get depressed easily like I do, like a lot of people do, or you know someone that's depressed, or just sad in general. You're sad about some things in your life, etc., etc. I invite to basically hear what I have to say, because I have a few ideas that I really don't, I've never heard of before. So I kind of go through like a scientific approach for it, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, I want to talk about how the reasons why we tend to get depressed, why it's so easy to fall into depression, why we then tend to do it a lot, and how you can really get out of it. So, okay, why it's easy to get depressed. If you know anything about physics or chemistry or really anything that goes how, how the world works, you know there are certain energy states, things like to be in low energy states, medium energy states, high energy level states, whatever you like to choose about it. If you want to learn more about what I'm saying, look up electrons and atoms. So just energy states, electrons. Anywho, the, the main thing is that just things, particles, nature, blah, 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 likes to find an energy state it can just coast on. It's stable. Chemistry, chemical reactions tend to be tend to find themselves in the most stable of positions. So when you have an energy state you can be very stable in and not change, the world likes it. <laughs> the way things go, that's what it likes. Now, you also have the fact that a low energy state is more preferred than a high energy state. That makes sense. If you can coast at a low energy, that is a lot easier than coasting at a high energy. Now when you think of moods and emotions, what's the lowest energy state possible? Depression. That's a no-brainer. So when we get depressed, the reason we get depressed so easily is because it's a very low energy state for our bodies to be in. We don't have to do anything, we just sulk and veg out, a lot of people do. <laughs> and we're, it's stable. You can stay in it. It's, not, it's very unchanging because you get in that mindset where then everything starts to you know, bring you down. So it's a stable low energy state that our bodies naturally flow into. It's very natural and it's very normal. And the reason why we get depressed a lot, or a lot of people are hyper depressive, if that's a word, is because we as humans tend to be very judgmental, extremely judgmental, of not only other people, but ourselves. We always look to the downside of things rather than the good. If you fail a class but pass the other five classes you, you're in, no one focuses on the five classes you you uh, passed. They focus on the one you failed. If some kid, I'm, I'm relating this back to college because it's most relevant for me, if some kid is in the back of the class, gets straight A's, does nothing, and everyone likes him, that's fine. If one day he makes a fool of himself by doing something stupid, what is he remembered by? The stupid thing. The, the When he made the fool of himself. All of a sudden, all these other good things are thrown out the window. And we tend to do that so much for other people that we do it to ourselves a lot. When, when we wake up in the morning, we look in the mirror, and we say, oh man, I could work on that, or oh, I could use adjustments in this part of my life, or oh, I could do this, blah, 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 blah. We don't focus on the good things in our life. We get depressed over eating bad, but we don't, we're not grateful for the fact that, hey, we know that we're eating bad, so we can go change it. We're depressed over the fact that maybe we're not making the money that we want to make, but we could be very happy for the fact that we're making money in the first place, because a lot of people aren't. See, when without depression, we would never be happy. It, there's a balance. You need to be grateful for the good. You have to, in order to be grateful for the good, you have to experience the bad, the depressed, the, the all the downside of life. If you're standing, if you're basking, basking in the light, you have a shadow behind you. It's a balance of light and dark. So it's a very natural thing to go into, but. How to get out of it 
is that you have to understand it's really just how you look at things. It's the gratefulness. It's that balance of light and dark. If you we were given the same life, how we look at it depends how it goes. We could focus on the bad things, which is our natural energy state to be in, or we can work work our bodies into thinking about the good things. Stay positive, stay optimistic. The glass is half full. It's a lot easier said than done. I understand that. I mean, I have trouble doing it when I'm depressed. But it really is the only way we can ever get out of it. I mean, think. Our bodies don't naturally go out of depression. It, it, it's usually... You don't just wake up and be like, oh, I'm happy now. It's usually something you realize or something you do or something you get over with. It, there, there's, there's energy you have to put forth into thinking positively. So that's what I, what I wanted to say about the uh, depression because I know a lot of people um, are going through depression right now or they're just sad about parts in their life or they want to be a little bit happier. So I wanted to throw my two cents out there. And I know it was kind of... I don't know, maybe a little weird, but it's my viewpoint on it. And it helps me a lot when I get depressed, and hopefully it will help you. So, peace out.